Hi Pisces, this is going to be your weekly love reading. The message I heard before the reading started, I was not planning to do a reading tonight, but I was led to do a reading to, you know, Spirit said to me, what is it that you, what you want wants you to, right? This could be a new home, this could be a new job, uh, you know, a, new, a nice home or a nice new car for your family, more space, more promotion, um, a business, you know, starting your business, or it could be love, right? Everybody's situation is going to be different. But Spirit said, you know, yes, what wants you, what you want wants you to, and, but what is it that you need to do to get out of your own way? I feel like there's something here that you are in your own way, and you don't know. Some of you guys may know, but there's a message here for you, and the cards came out very clearly, because I, I pulled them before we started, and as soon as I hit the record, the record button, better than I imagined, by Robert Glasper is playing right now. He's like a, a rural, renowned Grammy jazz artist. He plays piano. He's like a producer. He's he's a musical genius, better than I imagined. And this is about basically a song about how, obviously, whatever this is that you want the most, whatever it is that you guys are desiring, it's, it's it, the end result is going to be better than what you imagine. All right. And that is in total alignment with the cards I'm seeing here. Because I see the eight of, the, the end result for you is the eight of swords in reverse and the moon in reverse. Which is releasing fear. And next to that is the eight of cups. Um, it's like you're finally washing your hands of any like lack of confidence. You're walking away from certain people, places, and things that just are not serving you anymore. That don't make you happy anymore things that feel forced you're just you're just not into it and you're, you're not interested and you're getting out of your own head and out of your own way and I feel like a big deal about the big deal about that energy is the eight of swords in reverse is like you're freeing yourself right you're walking away some of you guys may be just cutting off ties with family you may be afraid because it just looks like there's an energy here of seven of um, pentacles in reverse. There's an energy here of you working so hard and you're feeling like there's no give. Things are not working out. You know, like I'm putting all this energy, time and effort into something and it's like it still is not growing. It's it's You haven't seen the results of it yet. And you feel like you've done everything you can. Um, it's, it's, there's an energy of, I just want to give up, but I feel like that's your thoughts. That's your thoughts because you're in between two worlds. You're in between. I really feel like this is all mental. You guys, whether this is you trying to manifest a new love connection, whether you're trying to manifest a new home or a new job or some form of abundance, right? And prosperity, like you're in between the past and the present. And for a lot of you guys, there's a heavy, heavy energy on spirit saying, hey, you can get out of your own way if you just worry about what's in front of you right now, today, the present moment. Because we have between two worlds, right? Between both worlds. And then we have the here and now energy, if y'all can see that. It's like, hey, the here and now is in the community you're in. The here and now is you being grateful and thankful for what you have and who you're around. And I'm not saying you're not grateful and thankful, Collective. Um, you know, I feel like spirit, literally, this is a very simple but powerful message. And the, the message here is, yes, you're doing, you're on the right path as confirmation, right? It's time for you to let go of the past. It's not working for you. The past is very dark. The past was... Um, there are some regrets from the past, right? You may have stayed somewhere longer, stayed in a relationship longer than you needed to stay in that relationship. You know, you may have stayed in a marriage longer than you really wanted to stay. Some of you all stayed for kids. You know, you may have stayed somewhere at this job because it, it paid the bills or you, you know, 
it, the money was good, right? But you don't like your boss, you know, or you don't, the work hours, it's, it's too far away, or some of y'all have to walk to work, or you're having trouble, transportation issues to get to and from work. And some of y'all I'm hearing childcare too may have something to do with it because the community card is here. So I could be talking to, there's a giraffe and then there's a baby giraffe here. So it's, I could be talking to a single parent right now. If you are not a single parent, the community card is literally about somebody here is getting no sleep. Literally no sleep is playing right now. Like maybe somebody here is getting no sleep because they have so many responsibilities or working a lot or you haven't been having trouble sleeping because you've been in your head so much about this situation, right? And you've been working so hard and you're not seeing any results you know, return from your investment and the things that you put into it. Because you put a lot into this, right? Some of y'all put a lot of like tender love and care, remodel a house or something is another thing that I'm getting here. You put a lot of love into your home and into your kids. And then it's like, okay, empty nest syndrome. It's time for me to figure out what's going on with myself. <laughs> that's for some of y'all. That's a very specific message. So please take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. But the, the gift here is, I feel like Spirit is saying, hey, focus on the here and now. Be present in the moment. Focus on the people and the things that you do have. And just continue to push forward and don't give up, right? Do not give up. You definitely are supposed to be releasing the past. You're moving in the correct direction, whether you know it or not. Because I feel like you guys are feeling discouraged because you haven't seen the results yet. But the results are coming. Because look at the, what's here, cornucopia, which is the 11 card. So you you have manifested something. You you know, you've been through some changes, but there's an, another message here of you might need to volunteer or give back to your community. Find a way to give to someone or something. Think about what it is that you can do to make your community better or help other people, whatever that is, okay? That's what's going to help you take your mind off of all this chatter because I feel like your thoughts are eating away at you. Like, literally, your thoughts ha are, like, e just eating you alive sort of type deal. Um, but, again, the good thing is, even if, you know, some of you guys might not, you <laughs> might not have a green thumb and you've been trying to, like, grow some plants or someone here may be learning how to be a farmer or your crops didn't go so well and you expected the crops to um, to produce because we have cornucopia energy, which is like, yes, I planted all my seeds and all these things have come, right? This harvest has come and there's an abundance in that cornucopia, right? There's an abundance, but the seven of pentacles is the exact opposite, right? When it's in reverse, it's like, you might be feeling a lack of drive here, for those of you who there's there's some connection in between your community or you finding like-minded people um i'm trying to figure out how i can tie this back into because everybody's situation is going to be different so like using a farmer as an example you planted these crops and they didn't grow or something happened to them and they didn't grow this season like you expected them to grow would have you checked in with people who do this same thing? Have you gotten the advice or asked for help or something? There's something very significant about your community that can help you. And there's something very significant about you giving back. So let's say if you're looking for a relationship and you're, 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 you're welcoming new love and you've been looking for your, your person, your next person who you want to be your last person, then th there's an energy of just like, hey, have fun, do your thing, definitely let go of the past. You're overthinking too much. Your, your chatter is just overwhelming you way too much. It's, it's time for you to release the past because the past was very dark. It's too dark. You got to come out of that. You walking away, like release the guilt of it taking you too long to walk away. Release, you know, the fear of, oh, if I set boundaries, you know, um, I'm not going to, they're just going to leave me. No, let them go. Let Allow what needs to fall away from your life and leave your life to leave your life. Um, and embrace the community around you. Um, connect with some people who who are like you, right? Who have like minds. Anyway, so also forgive yourself. 
just forgive yourself because I feel like there's a some some resentment or like guilt behind a certain situation. It's okay. It really is okay. I feel like you guys just are <laughs> some of you all have to unexpectedly leave a place or did leave a place or you, you're gonna have to do that. Like, there may be some changes that include you leaving something that you might not feel entirely comfortable with leaving. And, and Spirit is saying, hey, it's okay. We're here for you. We, the, Your community is here for you. You know, whoever you have around you, I feel like they support you. They do. Or it's time for you to go find those people that can kind of support you in whatever way. For those of you who need support, right? Um like physical support because uh, some of you may need that but uh, I feel like you guys are definitely looking for you, you need to have I feel like you're going to have a newfound perspective on something that's that's the thing right because literally the eight of swords is here in reverse and then underneath that is a perspective <laughs> which is so clear right um, you are feeling free you're releasing yourself of these thoughts these negative thoughts or this self-doubt or some of you all are physically like being released from a situation leaving your home and traveling on a new journey whatever it is you feel like you're better off once you're in this eight of cups energy you walk away from it you release fear and you're going to be happy. You're going to be in such a clear head space once you do that. So it's time for you to think differently, have a different perspective. And to some degree, you know you need to do this, but you kind of haven't done it yet. Okay? <laughs> so like if I'm talking to a single person and you're looking for love or you're looking for a new job or something of that matter, or it just has something to do with your purpose, get out of your head. Okay, go spend time with your family and your friends. Find the good things in the simple things, right? The joy in the simple things and and then go give back. F focus on how you can give rather than receive and then boom, this is going to help you to release stuff that you didn't know that you were holding on to. So, and I feel like it's going to give you a different perspective, right? Um, and your hope and your faith this is going to help you because cancer energy here with the moon in reverse. Okay. We got the moon in reverse and then we have this energy of hope and faith and manifesting. And I just love this energy so much for you guys because it's just like so freeing. You know what I'm saying? You're freeing yourself from any self-deception, you know, any anxiety, anything you're not being in denial about anything anymore like you're you're taking the rose colored glasses off and you are literally walking away and i feel like this is gonna shock some people some of you guys may literally be walking away from a, a person or a place or thing literally and it's gonna shock whoever it is it's, it may cause a little bit of upheaval but it's necessary and it's needed and you're going to be better off. This card literally says better off happiness in a clear head space. A new, a renewed perspective is what I'm getting here. It falling directly underneath that. Um, I just feel like you guys are at your breaking point right now. You know, you're, you've reached a final straw. You're feeling overwhelmed and you're just sick of that. Okay. And I feel like you're feeling overwhelmed because you're too holding on. You're still holding on to this past thing, right? You can't let go of the ex, but you want something new. Well, you know, two of those things don't go well together. I'm just going to tell you that. Um, I love y'all, but it's true. You know, you can't be between. It's okay to be in between the uncomfortable space in between the, the known and the unknown, which is the past and the present. That's okay. Um, but spirit really wants you to be in the here and the now. That is where the opportunity lies. Within you right then, right there, right right here, right now, right? Especially as you're watching this video. Maybe you'll have a newfound perspective or an aha moment or something, you know? I just feel like it, this is actually really great energy here because it's showing me that there is some growth. You're learning some lessons. You Lesson is learned. You know what I'm saying? You're coming out of despair. You're healing. You are making some improvements. You were a survivor. You survived. You didn't give up. You were stabbed in the back when it came to love and betrayed and lied to. 
you know, for some of you guys, if this is, if this resonates for you when it comes to love, you know, it, it, <laughs> people were offering, you know, stuff to you. I'll say stuff because this could be anything. This could be a job offer that you thought was going to be good with this page of pentacles and it but it wasn't enough you weren't making enough money it was not enough money to pay your bills or the page of pentacles was a small offer but that just was not enough yeah it didn't work out for you eight of pentacles in reverse underneath that you see what i'm saying and just whatever the offer yeah underneath that is the ace of cups whatever the offer was it did not work for you and you know it didn't work for you it's not working for you good for you just surrender Full surrender is going to be necessary. Releasing, letting go, walking away, forgiving, allowing yourself to free yourself from these thoughts and see something differently, having a new perspective here. And, you know, I'm saying after this was given to you, you were broken hearted. You were in this ten of swords energy. But now you're in this. I feel like this is energy of now with this ten of swords in reverse. Like you're he you've healed from it. Most of you guys have. Right. And then on the bottom of the other deck is the world, which is which means. Another with the Ten of Swords in reverse and the world that is let you learned your lesson. You successfully completed a karmic cycle. You you're getting what you need to out of this, which means there is a positive outcome. I know that some people are not going to agree with your decisions and that's OK. Some people may, you know, have a difference of opinion, you know, or if you were in a, a situation uh, where there was you're dating somebody right now or you were dating someone you just weren't compatible you know maybe right person wrong time maybe wrong person right time I, you know everybody's situation is going to be different but stop obsessively thinking about it like literally stop obsessing distance yourself from this by being present being here in the here and the now it's okay to be in between the unknown and the known. That's that's all I'm saying. Like give your safe. You you really gotta find a place to clear your head. Go somewhere where you can really clear your head. Is all I'm saying. Okay, that's gonna help you. So that's how you can get out of your own way. Literally, you have a cornucopia of abundance here available for you. Don't give up. Keep putting in the work. I know you feel like it's lacking reward. All the faith and the praying and expecting and hoping you know and you feel like it's so far away it's not far away i promise you it's not you're doing the right thing by being in this eight of cups energy you're doing this for yourself okay so i love you guys hit the like button subscribe to the channel until next time bye